In this video, I'm going to show you how to buy, bridge and stake with our Fox Finance. And for more information on our Fox Finance, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. Now, just before we jump into it, I'll give you a bit of information about our Fox Finance. And I'll also put a timeline in the summary below for those of you that just want to jump to specific parts of the tutorial. So our Fox Finance is the latest venture by Red Fox Labs, and it operates on the Binance Smart Chain and engages in decentralized finance where users can trade, farm and stake. And Red Fox Labs was founded in 2018 with the intent to be Southeast Asia's first blockchain venture builder and to help with the mass adoption of blockchain and other emerging technologies. The team is headed up by their co-founder and CEO Ben Fairbank, who worked for multinational companies such as the likes of Grab and Virgin. And he's also well known for being the GM of Komodo Platform. And Glenn Pierce, who's their co-founder and chief strategy officer, has had international experience in a career that spans more than 15 years. And they're responsible for many different ventures, including the likes of their virtual space, which they state will be a fully immersive discovery shopping and retail experience that combines gaming elements and forms its own standalone metaverse. And essentially, the virtual space will bring together the likes of NFTs, e-commerce, gaming and entertainment, where all shops, assets and billboards will be NFTs and it's a unique way for people to earn, interact and create. Then there's obviously our Fox Finance, what we're going to be concentrating on today. Plus, there's our Fox tournament-based video games and COGS, which are collectible, playable and traceable non-fungible tokens which are used as in-game currency. And they have their own R Fox token, which powers the entire R Fox ecosystem and acts as a form of payment. And it's used for trading fees, to develop liquidity pools and for the creation of NFTs. Essentially, the R Fox tokens assumes the role of being the main currency for Red Fox Labs Ventures. And the RFOX token can be purchased from popular exchanges such as the likes of Qcoin, Bittrex and Uniswap. Plus it can also be purchased from the Binance Smart Chain through the RFOX and BNB pool. And the token is purposed to be blockchain agnostic and circulates on both Ethereum and the Binance Smart Chain. However, you will find that RFOX Finance itself only runs on the Binance Smart Chain. Plus they also have a VFOX token and that can be earned from yield farming or staking. And users who hold the VFOX token will receive a share of sales in the virtual space, and that's paid quarterly. Now, the number of VFOX tokens are set at 21 million, pre-minted and limited to five months of yielding. And these tokens will never exceed a supply of 21 million. And you'll find that VFOX farming will end late September of 2021. And I'm going to show you how to farm VFOX during the walkthrough. Now, apart from the colour scheme, you will find that our Fox Finance is very similar to PancakeSwap. And that's because it's actually a fork of PancakeSwap, which was in turn a fork of Uniswap. And I've got tutorials available for all of those platforms if you are interested in finding out more about them. So let's jump into our Fox Finance now. And to get started, you'll need to head across to rfox.finance and then connect up to a supported wallet in the top right hand side of your screen where you'll then have the option to connect up MetaMask or the Trust Wallet. Now, I personally have my Ledger hardware wallet connected to MetaMask, which is the method that I'm going to use today. Now, you may find that your MetaMask wallet actually connects to the Ethereum mainnet, but with RFOX, you're going to need to be connected to the Binance Smart Chain. If you don't already have your MetaMask set up with the Binance Smart Chain, I'll put my link to my video below. You can see that I've already got some BNB in my wallet here. But you're also going to need some RFOX tokens, plus the BNB in your wallet to pay for the gas fees. Because as I said, RFOX Finance runs on the Binance Smart Chain. And there are several different ways that you can purchase these tokens, and then getting them across to RFOX will all depend on whether or not they're an ERC20 token or a BEP20 token, i.e. whether or not they're Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain tokens. Now, I've already got some BNB over on my Binance exchange that I'm going to use to swap for RFOX. So I'm going to need to send those across to my MetaMask wallet. Now, if you don't already have a Binance account, 
I'll pop a link in the summary below that will get you some discounts off your trading fees. So to get my BNB across to my MetaMask wallet, I'm first going to need to copy my address, which is underneath my account, and then I'll need to paste that into my withdrawal address over on Binance. And when you paste that in, it'll automatically detect the address is on the Binance smart chain, and that's from their list of networks. So I'm going to go ahead and withdraw my BNB tokens now, where I'll then be asked to verify using my YubiKey by Yubico, which I use as my level of two-factor authentication. And now that that BNB is showing up in my wallet, I can now trade for RFOX if I don't already have any. So if I head across to trade on the left-hand side of the screen, and under the swap tab, you may find that BNB is automatically selected from the top here, and I'm going to swap that for RFOX. I'll be swapping 0.5 BNB, and if you've not already swapped before or interacted with BNB, you may be asked to approve the transaction from within your wallet by paying a small gas fee before you can go ahead and swap. So I'm going to go ahead and swap now. And you may find that, like me, if you didn't confirm quick enough, you might need to accept a price update before you can swap. Well, I'll then be prompted to pay a gas fee. And you'll find that these fees are a lot lower than the fees you'll be paying with Ethereum right now. And another way to swap for these tokens is using PancakeSwap. So if you feel more comfortable using that platform, you obviously can. Plus, you'll also find that you can stake cake tokens to earn those RFOX tokens too. Now, if you already have some RFOX tokens, but they're currently ERC20 tokens, you'll need to use a bridge to change your ERC20 tokens into BEP20 compatible tokens so that you can interact with the Binance Smart Chain. To do this, you'll need some ETH to pay for the gas fees to bridge RFOX from the ETH mainnet. Then you're going to need some BNB to pay for the gas to complete the conversion. Now, the bridge that they mention in their FAQs and blog post is a third party named Multichain.xyz. And they state that RFOX didn't develop or commission it, nor do they make any revenue from it. So they state to use it at your own risk. Now, because this is the first time that I'm going to be using the bridge, I'm going to go ahead and swap a small amount first as a test. So I'm just going to connect up my wallet and then swap RFOX on Ethereum for RFOX on the Binance Smart Chain. And I'm going to put 1000 in as my test, and then confirm. Now at the time of this recording, the Ethereum fees are actually quite low, so it's going to cost me around $4 for this transaction. So I'll authorise that now, and the transaction has now gone through. And this bridge also works both ways. So if you do want to bridge your BEP20 RFOX back across to the Ethereum mainnet as an ERC20 token, you can. But once we have our RFOX on the Binance Smart Chain side, we'll then need some VFOX tokens in equal measure to add to the liquidity pool. So now what I'm going to do is swap RFOX for VFOX. Then I'm going to swap half of my tokens. So I'll swap 500 RFOX as I'm going to need an equal share to enter into the liquidity pool. And again, you may need to approve this with your wallet first before you can go ahead and swap. However, that just is eight cents, so I'm going to approve that now. And then I'll go ahead and swap. So now that we have our RFOX tokens and our VFOX tokens, the next step that we can look at is adding liquidity which is a way that you can earn those VFOX tokens. So if we click onto the liquidity tab to the right of swaps and choose to add liquidity, we'll then choose RFOX and VFOX in equal share by clicking onto the max button on one of the boxes. And you'll then find that the other box will then automatically populate with the equal share required. And again, we're gonna to need to approve the VFOX interaction as I haven't interacted with it previously. And then I can go ahead and supply. Now, once we've supplied liquidity, we're provided with the liquidity provider or LP tokens. And these essentially track your share of the pool and they work almost like a receipt that we've added to the RFOX and VFOX liquidity pool. And when we have our LP tokens, we can also stake them into farms and earn VFOX tokens by staking. 
So if we now click onto Farms from the left hand side of the screen, the first thing we'll need to do is approve the contract. And then I'm going to click onto Max to stake all my LP tokens and then confirm. And once you've staked these, the rewards will generate in real time after each block is created on the Binance Smart Chain. And you can see your total harvest adjust accordingly and you can harvest at any time. And the VFOX rewards will be divided by your percentage share of the total liquidity pool. Now you can see at the moment the current APR is 1,325%. However, just be aware that as more and more people deposit into the liquidity pool, you can end up with less of a harvest as essentially your share of the total pool will be diluted. And there are some risks with staking your liquidity, and that's all around impermanent loss. As essentially you could end up with more of one token than another, depending on the way that people are trading. If one of the tokens are then worth significantly less, you could end up worse than simply holding or staking the actual token at a lower rate. Now if you decide to come out of the pool, you'll find that there's a plus icon at the bottom, where you can add more to the pools, or there's a minus for unstaking your LP tokens, which you can do at any time from here. If you go ahead with that, once you've unstaked your LP tokens, you can then just go back to the trade screen and the liquidity tab. And from there, where it stakes your liquidity, your pool tokens will then show, which you can then remove. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with providing liquidity due to the possible risks, you can simply choose to hold your RFOX, or alternatively, you can single state your RFOX into the pool to generate a yield. So let's head across to pools now from the left-hand side of the screen, where you'll see that there's two single staking pools available. So you can either stake VFOX into the VFOX pool, or you can single state your RFOX into the RFOX pool. And both pools will generate VFOX's rewards. And you will see that both generate lower yields than farming, but you won't have that risk of impermanent loss. So I'm going to go ahead and approve our fox now, where I'll then need to pay my gas fee. Then if I click onto the plus button and type in the amount that I'd like to add, which is going to be a thousand. And then I'll just confirm that transaction. And I'm going to do the exact same thing now and stake VFOX, which is essentially exactly the same process. But seeing as I've just done that, I'm not going to bore you and do the same thing again. And these have all now gone through and I've staked 10,000 RFOX and 1,000 VFOX tokens. And we're going to take a look at our rewards in a moment. So let's just take a look at some of the other options on the screen here. So we've also got the RFOX Vault which is what we discussed earlier and is their fully immersive discovery, shopping and retail experience that combines gaming elements to form its own standalone virtual metaverse. There's also their FAQ page, which is great for answering some simple questions, or you can also head across to our website, everybithelps.co.uk, which also has a related blog post available. Then there's the About page, and at the bottom of the screen they've got their social links for Telegram, their Twitter page, which I personally follow for some of the latest updates. Plus, they've got some links to their YouTube channel. So it's now 24 hours later, and I converted all my tokens from Binance, where I've added around $5,000 of liquidity. And on screen, you can now see how much I've earned in the past 24 hours. So just in relation to harvesting, you might want to allow these to build up before you start claiming them. Whilst the fees are known for being cheap on the Binance Smart Chain, they do obviously build up over time and just be aware that these will cut into your profits. And some people will choose to automatically put their harvested tokens back into the pools, add liquidity and then farm those tokens just so that it compounds. And every time that you do harvest, our fox do too. The slight fees on top cover the cost of harvesting VFOX from the Red Fox Lab's initial liquidity pool. And they put it into the liquidity pool to swap it for RFOX that will later be sent to a burn contract address. But that completes how to use RFOX Finance. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.